Day two of the Mercer County track and field meet after yesterday's events. Salina boys in front with St. Henry close behind and on the ladies side, Marion local, your day one leaders. Salina just nine points back. Lots could happen. A friendly hello from cold water. Start with the boys long jump. Salina Stephen Chittum flies 17 feet, 11 three quarters. He finishes third. His teammate Cole Stevens up next. A nice approach. He'll go 17 feet and finish in fifth. Now it's cold water. Seth Dippold. Nice jump here, 20 feet, six and a half inches. He goes 21, seven and one half to get the gold. Cavs Andrew Gillum, 17, six, getting cold water a few points. And Salina Jack Henders, very pleased after this leap. How about 21 feet, three and a half inches. He gets the silver, just four inches behind Dippel. Girls high jump now, bar at four, eight. Flyers Jesse Kramer, no trouble. She finishes in six. No McKayla winning in this one yet. So she is getting close to returning, we hope. Same goes for the Bulldogs. Megan M. Wally, she finishes fourth, clearing 4-8. State placer Gina Kramer, she could have cleared 5-4 on this leap. She actually did clear 5-4 later to win the title. Coldwater's Kelsey Ram on the home track. Goes over 4-8 here, would get 4-10 to finish in third. Great race in the girls' pole vault. Salina's Becca Carr. Breaking the meet record here. She goes over 11 feet. The old record was 10-6. It was held by this young lady coming up, Marion Locals, Olivia Hemelgarn. So she breaks her old record. She clears 11 as well, but settles for second as Carr. The new meet record going over 11-6. That's some good vaulting for the underclassmen. As we look at our final results, Salinas ladies vault their way to a title. 46 points better than Marion Locals. They get ready for WBLs. We will have the finals for you. Well, oh, Aram Saturday, they happen Friday on WOSN. Coldwater's ladies in third. Boys side, it's a Salina sweep, dominating effort by Henders and the boys. Coldwater second, St. Henry, LeBron.